What's going on guys, Yerg with Hardy Tech, and welcome back to Pokemon Light Platinum, the Nuzlocke run. I'm finally home. I don't feel awkward, I don't feel weird, I don't feel like, wow, I can't be loud, and I, if I'm loud, people in other rooms will hear me, because I'm not in a motel. I'm in my room, and I can be as loud as I want! Yeah! Sorry. Um, I know in the past few videos, people have been complaining of, like, the audio being really quiet, and I think the reason for that is probably because, like, I was subconsciously talking a lot more quietly than I normally do because I've been in hotels. But, you know, today I'm in my room and I will yell and I will scream and I will do whatever I want. And I'm so happy to be home. You guys have no idea. Yesterday I drove about 20 hours from Amarillo, Texas, all the way to where I live. Um, I ended up getting home about 6.30 this morning. And I'll, I'll have some more stories about that later on. But, um... Today, I believe we're going to be taking on the gym leader. I want to put all my focus on Orange because he's pretty much the main guy here. I don't know. I'm kind of... Okay, first off, let's give him the lucky egg because people are always yelling at me like, Give the lucky egg to somebody. And I'll do that. I gave Orange the lucky egg. I kind of like... I'm wondering if I should take the EXP share off Golbat just so Orange gets as much experience as possible because I am like super terrified of this gym, especially the Excadrill. You know, I am very scared of that Excadrill. So I got to hope I can one-shot him. And I'm positive he's going to be faster because Excadrill is Speed Demon. But, um, uh, we can drain Golbat afterwards. It's not like he's going to get up to a decent level just off the Gym Trainer. So, yeah, let's take the XP share off and we'll just focus on nothing but Orange. And if Orange dies, oh my god, we are so screwed. Like, serious face here, we are, like, seriously messed up. So, um, okay, what's with this ladder? Because, um, okay, that's cool. You know, whatever. Uh, whoa! Oh, okay. That's... Yeah, cool. Okay, so anyways, while we're taking on some gym trainers, I don't think I'm gonna be as lucky as I was in the last episode when I tried to tell a story, because now I'm home and everything's back to normal and it's just gonna be silly old Hardy messing up everywhere, so, um... Wait a minute, you're not even a ground type, what the heck? Oh, that didn't do very much. Okay, this... I see where this is going. Anyways, so, um... You guys are probably aware, I have a cat named Bandit, and we kind of have like a love-hate relationship, you know, I love him and I'm under the assumption that he hates me. Anyways, what is today? Today's 28th, so it's been literally almost a month, because I left on the 1st of August, and I got home today on the 28th, and so it's been almost a month since this cat seen me, and I'm thinking, okay, he has to miss me, I mean, I'm his freaking owner, he has to be like, a part of me has to miss me, right? I mean, I, I miss this cat. Literally, Bandit and Rusty are the only reasons I was look, looking forward to coming back to California. So, um, I was like, oh god, I want to go see my cat. I don't know why, for some reason, I have like some huge fascination with seeing my cat. But, um, so I walked down the stairs to the basement where I live because I'm a horrible person who gets thrown down underground. But, um, so I go down to the basement and I'm like, oh my god, I'm about to see Bandit. This is going to be amazing. We're going to have some big, like, reconciliation and it's just going to be the greatest moment of my life. So, I open the door. I can hear him meowing on the other side, so I know he's there. I open the door. He looks at me, walks past me, and goes outside. He didn't even care. <laughs> I was I was like, no. No, that's not happening. So, I walk over and I pick him up. I'm like, Bandit, we are freaking cuddling. I haven't seen you in so long. I'm going to go lay in that bed and I'm going to squeeze the life out of you. So, that's what I did. And I think once I did that, like, once I laid down with him and pretty much instantly fell asleep. Um, I think he realized it was me. I'm assuming he didn't realize it was me at first. And like once he realized it's me, he just like started laying on top of me. And he, ever since I got home, which um, it's been like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, it's been like 8 hours since I got home now. He's been like attached to me. And it's pretty freaking awesome, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's like this cat... <laughs> He actually did miss me because he's been just like laying on top of me. He's been laying as close to me as possible. He's been following me around wherever I go. It's just like, wow, it, that's awesome. He actually like did miss me. And he, he's like, every time I leave the room, he like follows me. And he's like, no, you're not leaving me again. I need you here. So I've, oh, okay. Actually, I thought I was using a water type move at first. I'm like, oh, girl, you so stupid. But no, I'm not using a water type move. So let's try it. Uh, okay, I don't know what that... Man, we did get the accuracy drop. I forgot about that. Why aren't you using muddy water? That would be the best move for you to be using right now. 
and you're not, and I don't know why, and it's hurting my brain, you silly gastron! Meteor Mash, ooh! Yes, 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 because we actually have pretty freaking awesome physical attack, which is why Shadow Ball is a good move for him. Um, so let's get rid of Iron Defense, because I'm never going to use that. That is... Oh, that is actually really awesome move to get. I am not going to complain at all. So, let's switch into... Actually, I'm starting to think, is this... Is this gym a ground type or a rock type? Because I want to think that his main Pokemon is a Rampardos. Which is just pure rock, so... Now I... I don't know, my brain can't comprehend this. What... Wait, what type of gym is this? Um, do I need to heal up? I think I have like a ton of super potions so I don't have to walk all the way out to the gym and yeah so looks like you were able to defeat the four gym tr gym leaders let's see how strong you really are oh that's right we're only at the fifth gym and we've lost a ton of Pokemon since the fourth gym so let's hope that stops here and we could just start killing things again I have a I have a good feeling you know I'm home I'm I'm in a I'm in a good mood right now I'm not gonna lie I think this is Gastrodon of course so let's go with Kekos it is a Gastrodon. I really miss Dorito right now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but let's go with Extra Sensory. And, oh, that's right, I always forgot Muddy Water was a, like a 90 accuracy move. Which, I don't know why you wouldn't just have Surf. Muddy Water is just like Surf's bitch. Like, the only thing it gives you is like, I think it, is it a guaranteed accuracy drop? I don't think it's guaranteed accuracy drop, especially for being like a 90 base power move. I think it's, um, I maybe 30% chance accuracy drop or whatever although both times we've used it we've had an accuracy drop so pff, what do I know but um either way surf is like always better than muddy water in my opinion I I remember like the very first time I think I played um with a mudkip and my swampert ended up like learning muddy water and I'm like oh this is awesome it's like surf but it's dirty because <laughs> I'm a little kid and that's funny but um <laughs> that's not funny at all um and then I ended up realizing it is just like a crappy version of Surf. And I'm like, no, screw this. I want actual Surf. What, what's wrong with this game? So I ended up getting rid of Muddy Water for Surf. And I have yet to use... Why does everyone in here have a freaking... Okay, I'm... I guess I'm glad in one sense that they have Gastrodons. Because, I mean, it's giving me a chance to train Kekos. But I'd much rather be focusing on Orange. I don't need to be using freaking Kekos right now. Although... I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of falling in love with freaking Kekos, he's, I, I, this is my first time using a Bronzong, I've always hated Bronzors, um, and, remember, Bronzor is just the stupidest, one of the stupidest Pokemon in my opinion, just looking at it, I just, I despise it very, very much, it's just, one of those Pokemon that should just cease to exist, and I would be okay with that, so you are not a ground type at all, wow, deception much, um, oof, what do we go into? Um. Uh, he's going to Cluckers, I guess. What's he going to go for? Vital Throw. Okay, that doesn't do too much, but I'm super worried about him going for Revenge, because freaking Pidgeotto, man. Alright, I want to. I just kind of want to see what moves he has, because. Okay, Foresight, that's. I'm super paranoid right now. Okay, good, we managed to one shot it. Wow, Ma I'm like really scared of Machokes now after what that one did to Pidgeotto. Orion, oh, man, I was so close to a Pidgeot. I'm just starting to realize, like, how many Pokemon die when they're about to evolve. Like, <laughs> um, did Mosquito die at 44? I don't remember. I know Mosquito V2 was just about to evolve. Orion was just about to evolve. Okay, that's the end of the gym traders down here. So, after, I think we get up to the top four. I think the gym leader's next, so we might as well just go heal up. But, um, yeah, so many Pokemon, like, die when they're about to evolve. So, that's making me kind of scared for poor... Oh, I'm paralyzed. Uh, wow, wait, wait, wait a second, weak to water, weak to ground, weak to water, <laughs> three of my Pokemon can just get destroyed by Gastrodon, uh, let's just stand with Orange, and we will, we could Confuse Ray him, and then Body Slam him, I guess, I'm not sure, I know in Leaf Green, people got so mad at me for not keeping Body Slam, and I, at the time, I didn't realize that, um, Lapras's physical attack was pretty much just as good as its special attack so i'm like oh no body slam that's physical i don't want that turns out i do want that and i messed up big time so this time i made sure to put body slam on and we're just gonna we're gonna wreck people so 
It looks like we're going to be 46, which is technically one level over the highest Pokemon for this gym leader. But considering the fact this is pretty much going to be a one Pokemon gym, um, I think that's going to be forgivable, being like one level over. And you know, this is a hack that makes you want to hit your life, so... Let's stop using the speed button and maybe actually get into the Pokemon Center this time, because I'm just... I'm doing nothing but failing, so... Uh, another quick story, because I like just found this out, and I'm like... I have a big freaking smiley face on right now, so... Um, while we're, oh, I didn't mean to do that. While we're on our way to the gym leader, um, pretty much, as, as you guys know, um, for those of you wondering, I still do plan on joining the army. I mean, I don't know why that would change, but, um, uh, okay, I, I'm gonna tell this really quickly before I take on him, because I don't want to get distracted, but, so yeah, I plan on joining the army, and I've been having to get in shape, because, um, earlier this year, like, at the beginning of this year, I believe I weighed, like, 280 pounds. Basically, I was... I was a big chubby boy. Actually, I, I never really like looked that fat, but I was a little overweight to say the least. And um, before this trip, I'd been like working my butt off to get in shape and everything. And I'm still like not at the point where I can join the army because I'm still overweight. Um, but when I left on my trip, I believe I weighed like 210 pounds, which isn't really that overweight. I mean, it's like eight pounds over what I need to weigh to join the army. And when I went on this trip, for literally the past month, I have ate, like, nothing but Domino's, KFC, Burger King, and McDonald's. And, like, I, I kind of realized, like, wow, I'm probably really messing this up right now. Because I wasn't really getting any exercise, and I'm eating nothing but junk food. And that's horrible, horrible, horrible. And, um, I would, like, look in the mirror, and I'd, like, appear a, a lot better. I looked to my when I looked in the mirror I felt like I was looking like a lot fatter like fatter than I'd ever been before which is like what wait no this is really really wrong and I was like so terrified to get home and like find out I've gained like 70 pounds from eating pizza and uh, when I woke up this morning after my amazing sleep with my cat who like stayed attached to my chest the entire time but um I went up and weighed myself and after the past month of doing nothing but eating junk food I've gained two pounds. <laughs> like, really? What? What? How is that even possible? I've pretty much not moved at all. And I ate nothing but pepperoni and chicken. Just, why? <laughs> I am so happy right now. I, I know there's like, there's, okay, let's just take him on because this is getting boring. But, um, I know there's like, there's this, this disorder, like mental disorder, I think, where, um, I don't know what the name of it is, but even when you lose weight, you'll like look in the mirror and you'll feel like you haven't lost any at all you'll still feel like overweight and look overweight and everything in your mind and i'm guessing like maybe that's what's happening to me because in reality i only gained like a pound and a half to two pounds but in my mind i looked like i was seeing myself as like fatter than i'd ever been before despite the fact that i'm like 70 pounds lighter than what i've ever been before so ooh, let's go for keckles for this just switch it up a little because we could shadow ball this guy and troll him um is, yeah, we'll resist the psychic type moves, we're immune to his ground type moves, and if he explodes, we'll laugh in his freaking face. <laughs> Fur Mosquito! Hyper Beam. Okay, you know what? I don't think that'll actually do anything to us, because we're freaking tank. Look at that! Look at that! Oh my god! Freaking Keckles, I love you. Um, anyways, as I was saying, like, I I noticed, maybe it was just because, like, every, after everything that happened with Pepper, maybe I was just, like, feeling really self-conscious, so I was seeing myself as, like, worse than I really am. That's really, like, the only... Actually, wow, I probably should have stayed in with Excadrill. But, um, that's really, like, the only... Ex, or, I should have stayed in with, um, Keckles. But that's, like, the only explanation I can come up with for, like, why... Oh, Rock Slide. Wow, that's super effective. Okay, okay. We could do this. I'm po I'm sure we could take one Rock Slide. We are really tanky. Oh, my God, it missed twice. What? What? Oh, my God, yes. Yes. <gasps> yes. Oh, yeah! Ooh, okay, Rimpardos I'm a little scared of because he's just, like, pure rock monster. I kind of want to use Rusty, but we don't have Earthquake yet, so... Keckles? Does he have anything that could hurt Keckles? I don't think so. I'm, like, God, I love Keckles. I'm going to be so disappointed when he dies. Oh, Meteor Mash is super effective. I just realized that. Wow. How does he even Meteor Mash? But... Anyway, yeah, I knew that was going to miss. Stupid 85 accuracy. That's like the one downside to this is that it has horrible accuracy. And we did have an attack drop, so that's probably going to hurt it as well. Or it could do a ton of damage, and we got an attack boost. What? 
Meteor Mash reaches your attack? Really? Uh, anyways, he's going to Hyper Potions. Wow, what? Dude, wait. Why didn't you Hyper Potion? This is your main Pokemon. Anyway, so that's like the only thing I could come up with is... I don't actually know if like I look any different or if it was just like my subconscious messing with me because of like everything that happened with Pepper and me just like feeling really crappy about myself. That's pretty much like the only explanation I could come up with. But um, it's kind of good to know that I could go a month of eating nothing but pizza and like pretty much not gain any weight. So I'm I'm a happy Caterpie. I'm not gonna lie. So um. Yeah, I'm like, I, I probably shouldn't, but I, I feel really good about myself right now, so. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys with that, and maybe you guys have some kind of idea for why my body has been so amazing to me. Swagger, oh, don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself. You, I specifically said don't hit yourself. I'm like actually getting really paranoid about why he isn't using any potions. Does he just not care, or what? Okay, you know what? I'm going to take this advantage opportunity to go... No, I'm not. Uh, he's... You know, we can't hit him anyways because he's faster, so we'll just Super Potion again. This is literally the last Pokemon. All we have to do is, like, beat this Pokemon and we'll win. Don't use Dig. Don't use Dig. Crunch, we could take that. Don't hit yourself, please, please, please. Yes! And... Ah! I forgot about those stupid accuracy drops. Wow. Do we have any Hyper Potions? Okay, we have a ton of Hyper Potions. That's good. Um, Mud Slap, will you stop that? That is... Wow. <laughs> That's so trolly. We just... Okay, that figures. Um, I kind of want to, like, switch into Kekles. But what's his special... De wow, he has huge special defense, too. Look at those stats. Like, literally everything but his speed is pretty monstrous. So, you know what? We're going to switch into Kekles because Dig isn't going to hit us. We can Hyper Potion, so... Crunch is pretty much not going to do anything. We have no accuracy drops. We can't be hit by Mud Slap. We can't be swaggered. I didn't think that part through. Do we have a full heal? That would be amazing if we had a full heal. We do. We can get rid of the confusion. Haha. <laughs> Alright. So now pretty much any move is going to kill him. Let's just go with the Shadow Ball. Or you could do that again. Wow. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Keckles. Oh, wow. If he would have hit himself with plus four, that would have been actually like horrible but we did it we beat the gym we didn't lose anybody Keckles was I, I kind of think Keckles might have been the star player there I wasn't expecting him to like do anything I was oh cool we could use surf now where do we get surf huh TM26 oh is that earthquake is that oh oh my god can I have your babies oh I I so want to just like teach earthquake to somebody right now but I'm really scared to because I know that oh Keckles can learn it that would be that would be such good coverage for fire types. I mean, if I have to have him in against a fire type, Rusty could really earn it. Although I think I assume Rusty actually gets it by level up. And Cluckers would it'd be very good on Cluckers as well. Keckles and Cluckers, who I just realized have very similar names. Ugh. You know, I think I'm gonna hold on to Earthquake for a while because I just I know the second I give it to somebody, they're gonna die. Like I just I could feel it coming. So um, I'm gonna try to be patient so I still have to find out where do you get the Arkin fossil from because I I want an Arkin if I could take an Arkin over a Golbat I probably would I I can't promise I would I I would rather have an Arkin to be honest because he's a, he's very powerful but um I don't know where you get the fossils from I want to think someone said that it's in the cave so I guess we'll just go into this like next cave area where I assume we're supposed to go next anyways, so... I actually have no idea what the next gym is. I didn't think to look it up, so... Let's just... I, we're about to go in a cave. Let's just lead with Rusty. I, I don't know. Why not? We should probably take the lucky egg off Orange, because, like, Orange doesn't need any more experience. Orange is a freaking whore, but... Um... I didn't take on any of these trainers when I was grinding, and looking back, I really should have, because that would have been very useful, and... I wish Strength was a Rock-type move, like it is in Blaze Black 2 and Volt White hacks but um it is not so we probably should have led with roxy instead but i guess that's the thing about not being able to look at like trainer pokemon you have no idea what to expect you just gotta you gotta use your imagination and just pretend like you know what's going on when in reality of course you have absolutely no idea what's going on nobody knows what's going on and 
Bandit is once again attached to me. He like he won't leave my side. He's just sitting next to my chair, rubbing up against my hand. And I I can't like explain to you how happy I am right now with Ow! Okay, I take it back. You're a bitch. What the hell? <laughs> he just bit my hand. <laughs> It's like, what? Cat, I'm just bragging about, like, this awesome connection we have now, and then you attack me. This is not my first Pokemon in my area. I think this is actually where I got my Bronzor, so, um, yeah, I'm not gonna use you. I can't, well, I can't use him anyways, but, um, so this guy, I'm guessing he's probably gonna have, like, rock and ground types, so, um, Rusty should be able to, okay, or you could have a freaking Machamp, wow, really? That's cool, so... Let's go into Kekko's who... Foresight, why does... Okay, I understand, like, why he has Foresight for, like, ghost types and everything, but... Whoa, Foresight doesn't do anything against dark types. It, what did he just use that did so much damage to me? What the heck? Um... Yeah, okay, I don't, I don't even know. I don't want to stop using orange, but I don't have, have any other choices here, because... I. To be honest, I probably could have got away with using Double Kick on Blaziken, but I was just, I was like, yeah, I can't be bothered, it's too much work. But, um, this time I'm going to go with Rusty and I'm going to dick, because we got to stop using freaking Orange, because Orange is going to be like level 100 and everyone else is going to be like 4, and dude, Orange is going to be like, dude, I'm so low, nobody else is anywhere near me. And I'm like, it's not my fault, you're so freaking amazing, Orange. And then Orange is going to die, and I'm going to have, like, nothing but level 2 Pokemon. And now I'm going to be absolutely screwed, because I'm going to have to spend, like, four days training. And I really don't want to spend four days training, because that's a very, very long time. And it seems like there's so many better things I could do with this. And it's all because Orange had to be so powerful, it just couldn't understand the fact that maybe he could just let someone else do something instead. But no, it just has to do with freaking everything, because it's Orange is Orange. And Orange is just, like, the greatest color ever next to Green, of course, because Green is totally better than Orange. And he just has to destroy everything and be so powerful with his Water Pulse and his Ice Beam. And he's just a freaking... Power whore, Orange, stop it, Orange, let someone else do something for once. Why are you doing this? Oh, that doubles, that, that, that okay. Okay, only, Earth, I think only Earthquake actually doubles in power. So, uh, when I saw Magnitude, I'm like, oh god, no, Rusty. Seriously, if Rusty dies, the real Rusty is, like, probably gonna kill me. So, that's not good news, because, um, I'm going to an anime convention with her on Saturday, and I'm pretty sure she's driving, so she'll have, like, the perfect opportunity to kill me. And I'm really hoping that doesn't really... I freaking hate accuracy drops, because one accuracy drop pretty much means, oh, you're never going to hit this Pokemon again. Have fun, yay. Seriously, it it's so true. And I I hate this... I hate accuracy drop. Double, double team and, like, mud slap. Like, one double team, and you're pretty much, like, impervious forever. That's... One thing I hate about that game, so... I just realized... Golbat can't learn fly. He's... Like, the most useless flying Pokemon. I was actually just talking about this with someone. I'm doing, um... Um, I'm just off-screen. I'm playing an Emerald Nuzlocke with my friend Robin. And we were, like, just talking about this right before I started recording about how Golbat can't learn fly. Because she has a Golbat. And it's like, wow, it, it's so weird, because now I have a go bad, and he can't learn fly, and I hate my life, so. <laughs> How? Oh, do you not battle me? Yes, she was working here, and... Oh, oh my god, is this... That's... Uh, that's not the one I want. Where's the freaking Arkin fossil? Uh, I will find it, and I will get an Arkin, and it'll just be the greatest thing ever, because it won't have Defeatist, which... Okay, you're going to be a fighting type, so I, I know better than to lead with Rusty. Let's lead with... Uh, Kekos, who is all paralyzed and stuff. Do I have any paralyzed heals? I think I do. I want to think I probably don't. Cool. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go heal up really quick, so yeah. Okay, so right when I paused, someone decided to text me. And I'm like, wow, that was so considerate. For they it's like they knew I had just stopped playing. And they're like, you know, we'll, we'll just, we'll wait for you to stop playing to text you. And I'm like, that is, that's so amazing. I don't know who it is because my phone's in the other side of the room and I couldn't be bothered to go check it. I'll just, I'll do it later. But, um, that, that's like, that's so considerate of whoever it was that texted me, which is only like, like possibly three people. So, <laughs> I, I don't, not very many people text me, which makes me sad. But, um, whoever it was that texted me, you, you're a trooper. I like you. For, thank you for waiting until I stopped recording. You have no idea how much I appreciate that because I know everybody loves hearing the Legend of Zelda sound and everything, but it 
Speaking of which, wow, that's the third text in like 45 seconds now, so... I'm actually becoming kind of paranoid that I should probably be checking this. Um, I actually don't know if you guys can hear that because that's way on the other side of the room. So if you can't, and I apologize, if you wanted to hear it, you want to hear like the da 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 da, but you couldn't. Wait, what? I'm looking for TM that contains rock slide. Oh, I thought he was gonna like ask us for the rock for a rock slide TM at first. I'm like, bitch, please, no, I'm keeping that for myself. I don't even have it, but now I like, I seriously. I want it now. I like... Okay, can we maybe hit Meteor Mash just like one time ever? Thank you! Why didn't that do very much? Wow, that... Did like nothing. How does... What? Shadow Ball does like the same amount as Meteor Mash? And Meteor Mash w has Stab. And it's already normally like 20 base power higher, so... What? <laughs> I'm, why is there so many Gastrodons in this game? Seriously. They're everywhere. It's... God, it's, it's blowing my mind. I don't like it. Um, seriously, like, this is like the fifth freaking Gastrodon. We, no, it's more than that. Like, every gym trainer in the gym had a Gastrodon. Just everybody, everybody Gastrodon. I did not buy any Paralyzed Heals, and now we're literally just in the exact same position we were before. So, I wasted my time going and healing. So, um, let's just... I don't know, let's put someone else out in front. Let's go back with Rusty. It sucks that, like, in this cave, Orange is, like, the only one that could do anything, so... Maybe I should be talking to these NPCs, because I know that one gave us a fossil, and I have no idea what Arkin's fossil is called, so... I just, I want Arkin so bad. If any of you, if I don't find it in this video, tell me where Arkin's fossil is, because I want it very badly, and... It, we're gonna be, like, best fossil friends. We're gonna make, like, wristbands made, and it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna have a TV show, and we're gonna sing songs. Just, another guest? Why? Why is there so many Gastrodons? This is ridiculous. I, I, that's, okay, I know this game is amazing. I love this game, but obviously there are some complaints, like the constant rival battles, although we haven't had one this video so far, and I don't think we had one in the last video either, but, um, very repetitive battles. Like, it seems like all the trainers just, like, share a Pokemon. I mean, how many Sand Slashes and how many Gastrodons have we faced? There are other ground types in third gym, you know, and, and in, did I just say gym? In fourth in fourth gen, technically. This has fourth gen Pokemon as well. And and fifth gen, because it has Excadrill. But no, for some reason, like the only Pokemon you're gonna freaking use is Gastron and Sandslash and Golems. Everyone here is at a Golem as well, so let's just get out of this stupid game. Wow, Mount Zero, I just realized this is named after the region. So, um I should probably Oh, you're gonna have a fighting type. God dang it. Okay, well it's just Ah, it's a Hitmontop. Hitmontop is definitely my favorite of the three. Uh, the Hitmon. Just because, like, in the anime, I fell in love with Hitmontop in the anime when, like, in um, in the Johto series, when, like, Ash battled off against the Hitmontop and he used his I am Bulbasaur. I, like, I had that on tape, and I watched that episode so many times. I just, I fell in love with Hitmontop because I loved its cry. I loved that it, like, spun on its head. I just... Everything about Hitmontop is so amazing, and it's so much better than Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. Unfortunately, I think it's actually, like, the weakest of... Oh, ooh, what's going on here? Terra, you better give up. You're surrounded by me and the Pokemon boys. It'll be better for you if you surrender now for your interrogation. Not a chance, Steven. You'll have to defeat me first. Doesn't Steelix technically have the advantage here? Just saying. Steelix, use Earthquake. Metagross, use Psychic. Doesn't Steel resist Psychic? I don't know. Terra, you're under arrest in the name of the Pokemon Society and the Pokemon Police. Guards, take her. Oh, that's a girl? I thought that was a guy. Wow. Okay, cool. Never would have guessed that. Not gonna lie. Return, Metagross. Okay, so he just disappeared. What a relief, Hardy. We finally managed to capture one of the leaders of Team Steam. We can interrogate her to find out their plans and work out ways to stop them before they happen. I'll let you know anything I find out. This is a great achievement for the Pokemon Society. What in the world is a Pokemon Society in can I- Ooh. Okay. I'm so excited, I almost forgot to give you- Oh my god, is this Surf? Is this Surf? Is this Surf? It's Surf! Oh, yeah! Yes! I'm excited, I'm sorry, I love Surf. Man, we could give it the Lapras and get rid of stupid water poles and- oh, I'm doing that right now. I'm just- I'm doing that right now. Let's do that, Surf. 
Lapras, Orange. You've already been like the star of this video, and we're just gonna make it even more awesome by giving you like the best water type move you can get. Sorry, Hydro Pump Surf is better in my opinion. So, oh my god, I'm just I'm so happy. What a great way to end the video. And well, uh, yeah, we'll get through the cave. We, I'm, I'm home. I want to celebrate. And although I'm like the back of my mind's like really paranoid because I'm like I need to check those texts. Someone texts me three times within one minute. That's probably they probably want to be talking to me. Although. It's probably just like Rusty being like, I know you're trying to kill me, and I'm going to kill you for that. And I don't want her to know. I don't know how she would possibly know that, considering, like, nobody in the world has seen this video yet. I haven't even seen it, because it's not even a real video yet. So, freaking, her dear, her gay deer powers, man. For those, oh, for people keep asking, although I think it's like everybody knows by now, but for those asking, Rusty is a legitimate gay person. So, I... You know, yes, Rusty really is gay. She likes vaginas. She likes boobs. So do I. Because boobs and vaginas are amazing. I'm sorry. Penises disgust... Well, penises don't disgust me. I have one, and I, I'm not very fond of it. You know, if I could, like, trade it for a vagina, I would. Because they seem so much more fascinating than penises. And, you know, you don't have to worry about, like, oh, is my... Vi well, okay, you know what? Let's not get into this topic. Because... That was getting, like, a little too weird there for a second, but, um, let's talk about something else. So, how are you guys? I'm fantastic. I'm, like, I have no idea why I'm so happy right now. Maybe it's just the fact that, you know, I'm home, and I'm with my cat, and I can, like, feel comfortable recording videos again and not feel all awkward in hotel rooms, and, you know, okay, we are out of Mount Ziri, but, um, I'll finish that sentence, like, when I was doing the, like the past three or four videos that were in motel rooms, I felt so awkward and like I had to be like so, like quiet and everything because I didn't want people in the next room to hear me or disturb. Like there was a video I did at three in the morning for some reason, but I just like stopped caring at that point. But um, I'm so happy to be home and I could I feel free. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, tell me where the freaking Arkin fossil is. I want it so badly. Until next time, I'm Hardy Tikio, yo.